I failed. I failed a lot. He's not there anymore. Well, I know one thing. I need to get this done and make sure that no other villager gets booped on my watch. So, in order to get this thing sorted, I need the beacon. And to get a beacon... Yes, you got it. We need to go to the nether. So, I'm gonna head, head down there now. And uh, we have that fortress next to our uh, portals. But I think... I think I detected a fortress near our, uh, like, portal on the other end, so like below it. So yeah, I, I'll, I'll check on that first. See if uh, there is a fortress next to our portal, and if there is one, we'll go and hunt some skelly, skellies to get that uh, beacon. Alrighty then, so we're, we're back in our uh, nether hub. Uh, let's head down. I believe there's there's a fortress right, right below here. I just need to be a bit careful. Okay, these guys won't attack us, but the piglins will. I remember, like, through the fog, that... Uh, oh, hello there. That there was... A fortress over there, I would think. So... Let's head over there and check. I believe I like dig a hole here or something. Yep, yep, there's a hole. Yep, as, yep, just as I thought. And we're on a blaze spawner. We'll turn this into a farm, most definitely. All right, let me get some uh, wither skulls and I'll be back. Man, we got it! We got it! There it is! Free! Alright, let's get back to base. I am so happy and I spent so much time in the nether. Yeah, let's let's not talk about it. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Home sweet home. Alright, let me just get all of the stuff that we got while I was in the nether, digging and chasing the withers. And then we can head underground to uh, get our nether star, if you know what I mean. So from our uh, little nether adventure, we got a bunch of nether ward blocks. We got uh, some magma cream, a few, 
two stacks and some of blaze rods, some black stone. I, I think this was a good haul. I mean, and some coal, of course, some bones, and a zombified piglin's head. So yeah, I would say this was a good haul. I'm just going to pack this all up, and then uh, we're going to head, as I said, underground. I'll just get some potions ready, and we'll fight the wither. Let's go. All right, so let's see. Food, check. Potion of strength, two, check. Potion of health, check. Three wither skulls, four soul sand, and a can do attitude. Let's go and do this. We're gonna go to the bottom of our uh, world. So I'm just gonna use my uh, mine shafts for that. We have the, maybe you remember because this was a while ago when we made this. So there's a mine shaft that you can just drop down all the way to the deep slate level. And we have like a bed here and everything else. Uh, you know what? We'll set a spawn point here. Just in case. I'm not saying anything will happen, but just in case it, you know, it does happen. We, we should have like a backup thing. Okay. I'm, I'm not saying that Wither will, you know, get us or anything like that. No way. No way. No way, Jose. Okay. Okay. This is under. This is underwater. Do we want to fight it here? Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Give me one second. You know what? I think this place looks good. So, in order to summon a wither, you need to make sure that all of your uh, wither blocks have um, space. You know, space around them. So, you need one block aside from your. Uh, from your uh, upside down, uh, from your T. So how do you summon a wither? Let's let's go through that. You put down this and this and this and this, and this would not summon because of that. So we need to remove the stone, right? Uh, I'm just going to be on the safe side and remove these also, just to make sure that it can summon. And this should be it. It should be able to summon now. So, let's, uh, I guess let's do this. So you place your, uh, your skulls on it, on this T, made of soul sand, and that should spawn the wither. And it did. Let's drink up, boost up, and start fighting. It will explode now once it charges up, as you can see it's charging up. There we go. We are just going to do that. Okay, let me let me lower the sounds a little bit. Withers are kind of cranky most of the time, so we'll we'll just go with the game sounds. Well, you know, 27. That's a good percentage. And we're going to hit this. Okay. Well, yep, it's stage two now, so now we need to use our sword. Okay. And soon enough, there we go. There we go, we have our with Nether Star. There we go, and also with the projectile's head. That's awesome. And a Wither's head. Uh, the more mob heads data pack from Vanilla Twigs just keeps on giving. So if you need more mob heads, use it. All right. So a good thing to do once you're finished with the fight with the wither uh, is just to take a few torches and just light up the place. You know, make sure you don't have any any you know unwanted spawns because you'll you'll just come down to the mine to get some you know materials, something, and then you'll have like a a big party of uh, monsters charging at you, and nobody likes that, right? Okay, let's head up and let's see if we have enough materials for Le Beacon. Well, um, this is awkward. So, <laughs> I just checked on our chest here with all of our ores and whatnot. And, I mean, this is all of the iron that we have, apparently. And I need either iron, gold or emeralds 
to make the beacon. So, yeah. Um, I have an idea, though. We can uh, get our farm farmer villagers to help us with this. We have three of them. And we need exactly three for um, an iron farm. So, uh, let's see where we could put that in our world. You know what, guys? I was looking for a location for an iron farm. And to be honest, I don't think we have a good space here on the on our island. So we're going to postpone that and make it on another location. Or maybe make it later because uh, I wanted to get that beacon and I wanted to avenge this man. We lost him and he was, he was really important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the nether again. I'm going to get a ton of gold ore, smelt it all up and make a beacon from that. I'll see you in a bit. It will be just a second for you, but I'll, uh, I'll spend more time in the nether. All right. I'll see you then. All right. So I've been, uh, I've been mining somewhat. Um, yeah, just full disclosure, if you need a lot of gold, don't go to the nether, just just make a farm. Don't don't mind for it. It's it's fine. So <laughs> let me make a little little set for our um smelting needs here. Well, we have our glow legend farm there. I'm thinking a little little um set of two two furnaces right here, maybe. So what I want to make first is of course two chests. For um, for the input, so we're just gonna break this, put them in there. Uh, then we want to break this here, right? And of course, we want to make it look pretty. So we're gonna encase the whole thing in uh, stone bricks, I guess. That's kind of our material of choice for uh, for this island. So. We're gonna continue with that. Uh, let's just drop them below. Drop them here too. Right there we go, and then we can we can just circle all around, and this will be our uh, collection system for the smelted ores. It's quite simple, truly. So we'll have uh, two furnaces going there, fuel and uh, ores going inside, and that's it. I'll uh, come back once it's done and uh, let that smelt and then we'll figure out what to do for the ores because I'm still lacking. I know, I know, but I'm gonna do that beacon and I'm gonna finish this project this episode. It's already Friday, I think, the next week and I said that uh, the new episode will come out another day, so yeah, okay. All right. So we're back. So full disclosure, I am not a smart man. Don't listen to me when you, you know, need your uh, mining advice because I don't know what I'm doing. But luckily, I watched Hermitcraft and I watched Cup Fan's new episode and well, I got this from nine night vision potions mining in caves, random caves. This is some stuff. So, technically, I'll just make more of the pots and I'll uh, go ahead and mine more and we'll have all of our ores that we need for the beacon soon enough. Thank you, Capfan. You amazing, amazing, amazing person. Thank you so much. Guys, I'll be back once I have all of the blocks. Bye-bye. Well, after a few days of grinding, um, we have it. There it is. There it is. I mean, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I just did this for, you know, to honor the <laughs> villager, but in fact, this is only an outer layer of gold. In the middle of this, we have, uh, we have iron. So, yeah, don't, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, um, you know, I didn't find enough gold, but lesson learned in the nether don't go to mine for gold just go to mine for uh ancient debris or quartz and whatever gold you find keep it silk touch it and 
smelt it into ingots, and yeah, you'll have a decent amount of gold. But yeah, it's uh, it's not the best strat. The best strat, however, is to go into a cave and uh, you know get some night vision potions. Uh, go caving, and you'll get way more resources. But here we go, beaconator. Bring home the beacon, and we're going to put one ingot in. We'll select haste and haste two, and hit OK. And we can get busy with this. All right, I'll get onto that one, and uh, I'll catch you as soon as I'm done with clearing out this and preparing it to move our villager friends in. They're crammed in that house. There, there's like I don't know, uh, five of them there. Or something we need a better home for them unfortunately our friend here didn't uh, didn't really make it but it's fine it's fine we'll uh we'll, we'll get there we'll get there okay let's grab a quick sleep and let's run into a little timeline oh hello there one second uh. sir sir if i could just hit you uh i need the smite sword okay there we go. Danger averted. All right, let's get some sleep and let's start cranking out that stone, removing it, clearing stuff up and uh, making it ready for the village people. I'll catch you in a bit. And that's it, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, staying with me. I lost a little bit of my mind during this uh, episode, but I hope you enjoyed. So uh, what we need to do here now is to decorate the outside, of course. We need to get some uh, uh, bushes, some uh, greenery here. We need to do the inside, of course. We need to make the home for the villagers and a good door so the monsters can't come in. And yeah, this will be their uh, their new home. It's lit, it's safe, and I believe I'll make them like a little garden here so that they can go out and, uh, you know, enjoy the sun a little, little bit. You know, v vitamin E is important, okay? But yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you didn't subscribe, please do so. If you like the video, like it and uh, share it with a friend, maybe, so that we can actually have a discussion in the comments. 
what did you like what did you didn't like and you know etc oh my god this chicken is so good oh did i tell you that i'm eating the flesh of my enemies yep check the check the previous episodes okay then next up interior decoration 